95.5 WFMS, Jim, Deb, and Kevin on a Monday morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, well, there's a bell. Okay, we got Monday uh, morning. Oh got some storms goodness. coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we, we already have the storm. rain, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, you head into the month of March, I guess that's well, the way it is. It was in like a lion, out like a lamb? Well, it may be. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I was looking at radar earlier this morning, and uh, it is uh, not here yet, but it holds together. We'll have nice little storms going today. It's really been an odd winter, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And, you know, it's, and oh. I think I saw 70, was it 70 for next day or so, and then yeah. we'll be back in the 30s with flurries or something. Oh, good. I still love the cold weather. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just for Deborah. Yes. I, I don't know why we all got colds. <laughs> back and forth and back and forth. You sound weird. I got a horrible cold. Oh, yeah. no. Because you know? yeah. it is kind of, you, you wear your jacket and you get kind of hot, and then you yeah. take it off, and it's like, yeah, but that's all part of it. It's all part of the fun. What makes do you do? Indiana what are you trying to blame in the jacket on your cold? Yeah. No, no Indiana weather. <laughs> Back and forth. But I'd still rather have Wait. this than I would a bunch of snow. Yeah. When you, do you need to go on uh, voice rest or something? That's only Kevin does oh, that, right? Yeah. Well, Kevin will go and honor He'll you. He'll gladly go on voice rest. Well, Kevin will go. <laughs> He'll gladly I go on. Look at you guys arguing over it. 47. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> 610, Monday morning. How about a little good news? Well, how about this? An 80-year-old high school janitor in Texas Came out of retirement after uh, his rent went up by $400 a month. Whoa. Oh, God. But his uh, fellow students, his old students that he worked for, uh, weren't going gonna to take that at all. They started a GoFundMe page and have so far raised over $200,000 for his Mercy. future Mercy. rent bill. Wow. And a 15-year-old boy had tried to carjack an older woman named Grandma in Washington, D.C. Now, I'm laughing because of the turnout of the story. Uh, Grandma fought him off. He's 15. Her. She's Grandma. She fought the bad team so much that uh, he had to leave the scene in an ambulance. Oh really? Now, he oh is gosh. okay, but he is in jail right now. Oh, right. Grandma. Juvenile. So, again, don't well, mess with don't Grandma. Mess with grandma. So, good news stories for you at uh, 6 11 on this uh, rainy Monday. Monday morning, well, the last few days of February. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. You know, I'm not a big uh, diet guy. <laughs> Look at me, you can tell that. But, <laughs> you know, I'm one of those new trend, new diet trend, or new, new right. lifestyle trend. But I may try this one. This is the newest trend. It was on the news last night. It said it's growing uh, more than normal trends. Uh, right now, about one in three people are committed to doing this, and that is to take an extended break from social media. Oh, one they in three. They all acknowledge that their yeah. life is passing by them while they're knee-deep in there or looking down in their in their nose and their, mm-hmm. and their phones and posting pictures and everything else and not enjoying the moment. I agree uh, with and that. And then they openly admit that they are guilty of doing the one-upmanship. Well, you know, Deborah posted a picture of right, a right. new car. I got to go get a new car now. Or whatever it might be. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what, what do you call it? Humble bragging they'll do on the... Anyway, yeah. they made a whole list of things that people do. They all know it's bad. So one in three and a growing number uh, is saying, you know what? We're going to do an extended break. Now, the, the break could be a day, could be a week, could be a month, could be for Lent. But they're just saying we are not going to do social media for a period of time. And I think that's a good idea. I I have looked at social media, and I think I'll post on occasion about, like, my boys being a senior. But I have noticed that I don't post like I used to. And it got to be be where people would be like, if we'd be in an event, well, are you going to post? Do you want to tag me in it? And I'm like, I don't don't, don't know. Right, right, right. So I have not. I just realized I haven't even posted my CMA photos from November. It's just like it gets to be overwhelming. And so finally I just stopped doing it. No, but you didn't. And that's because you can't. What because our job doesn't allow us. We've, well, I think maybe that might be I think be that's a, why. Because you say, you say, you know what, I have to do it at, I shouldn't say, you know, have to do it. It's, we're lucky enough to we're be in this encouraged. industry. Yeah. Uh, but but our job does encourage us to do the social media posts. So when you're at the CMAs and you're doing all that stuff, the last thing you want to do is go to your personal page and right. do it. So I have like all right. these all these photos that I need to post, but I just I'll get I'll probably post like a hundred in one day. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that called? So, a photo dump or something photo like that? Photo yeah. dump. There you Good. go. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm hip and trendy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's, except it's for a, you said hip and trendy. It's <laughs> it's a, the newest trend and it is growing uh, right now. They said over one in three. Now what what's a break? How long? As a break. Well, that's what he said. It could vary. It could vary from some people saying, I'm taking a break, an extended break, and a day away from social media is that's an extended true. break to yeah. them. Others are saying, I'm going to do a week. Others are saying a month. Others mm-hmm. are doing it for the holidays. The, for a Lent. week would be nice. Like, if you go on vacation, I feel like you could you know, post your photos when you get back, but you should be in the moment on vacation. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Otherwise, be in the moment. People are going to break in your house. <laughs> be in the moment. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's another problem, sure. <laughs> Small problem. <laughs> 95.5 WFMS. Thank you so much for making this a part of your Monday morning. Just think of all the free time you're going to have in 10 years. In 2033, you'll have more free time than you'll know what to do with, probably. Really? Yeah. Uh, experts, many experts predict that robots 
uh, will do housework and take care of pet care within 10 years. Really? Now, it won't look like Rosie the Robot right. doing your housework. Right. It'll, or 2D2. It'll, yeah, yeah or it, it'll, it could be, we already have the Roomba See? or the yeah. shark or whatever yeah. it is that will do the sweeping for you. But they said it will also, uh, automated or robotic features in the house will do laundry. So wow. you would put it in a in a pantry somewhere and it just does the laundry for you. It will pick up dog doo doo in the backyard for you. What? That'd it be will. Nice. I mean, think of all oh, the things I that, like that the chores around the house that we don't like doing. Sure. They say within ten years, that will be uh, normal in the home. That's just weird. It is yeah. weird. Yeah. Well, it's weird. That. You know, we've got those uh, you know those, those vacuums. The shark and the Roomba, like you said, it's a robot that yeah. does your vacuuming. I can see them yeah. coming up with some out in the yard for the picking up the dog poo. But let's go back ten years ago. If mm-hmm. we told you ten years ago that hey, you know what, you could just uh, go online and order your groceries and they'll be delivered to your home, mm-hmm. you'd say, oh no, that's not going to happen. It does, right? Or right. you'd say, you know what, you're busy at work, you don't have time to go to lunch. You could, you know, just call you the local. A uh, fast food place, and they'll they'll bring you food to your to your door called DoorDash. We mm-hmm. think, oh, that's not going to be yeah, the case. Yeah, it does. Yeah, or that, or that you'll do a hundred percent of your Christmas shopping online. Online, that's and right. It'll be delivered to your door. It, uh, it, it's it's happening now. I, I get that, but we got to do some things for ourselves. <laughs> really? I mean, how lazy can we be? You know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. never mind. I'm to get yeah, yeah, never yeah. mind. Yeah. I, I mean, that the dog groomer came to our house the other day and gave oh, yeah. Bella a bath, See? trimmed her nails. What if what, we didn't have to leave the house? I mean, and Deb, you're an open book. You've shared this with us before, so I don't think I'm bringing up dirty laundry. Uh, but you, your dining room has been known to be the folding table. Folding table there for, for my your, clothes. For your oh, clothes. Yeah. Can you imagine a robot in the future that will fold your clothes for you? Maybe even put them away. I at this point, you don't even have to get out of bed. <laughs> You know? Well, it's if you need to, sad. the bed will actually push you out. <laughs> you know? So no, that's st- your spouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> WFMS. It's a Monday morning, and it is time for Kevin's bad joke worth repeating. And uh, per your request, this is more of a groaner than a... Okay, because uh, the cold, I start, I'll start coughing. Jim's got a bad cold and a cough, mean. and if he laughs, he'll cough a lot yeah. more. Mm-hmm. So here we go. A young cowboy gets uh, thrown out of uh, a saloon. He returns the next day with a dachshund under his arm. The bartender says, what's with the dog? Cowboy says, well, last night when I was thrown out of here, I was told to get a long little doggy. It's a dachshund. It's oh, my god! Long gosh. little doggy. Get along. Go Thank get one. Little Thank doggy. you, Kevin. You're welcome. It worked out great. See, I do. We did, yeah. That was as dumb as we expected. All clear. <laughs> to 709 WFMS, Jim, Deb, and Kevin. This is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. What is that? Um, it looks just as weird as I think it is, but it's a Chinese kissing device, <laughs> and it actually lets you Look kiss somebody over the internet, and it's a pair of lips. It's this device. You know, that, like an emoji kind of thing or something? No, well, know. no, it's a, like physical lips that oh, yeah. plug in this little device. It's probably about the size of like a nightlight that you would plug into the wall. Yeah, yeah it's a good It description. plugs into your cell phone. Mm-hmm. You have to, and the, the creator of this says uh, it literally will mimic uh, a real physical kiss. Well, a pair of lips come out. Yeah, a pair of lips come out of this thing. And so it's de- <laughs> it's designed with pressure sensors and actuators that allows the device to be able to mimic a real kiss by replicating the pressure, movement, and temperament of a user's lips on the other side. So you download an app on your mobile phone, and okay. then you have to have this device about the size of a nightlight to plug into it, and it has actual lips that come out and move. It's creepy. Yeah, like little rubbery plastic lips. And then you kiss those lips, and whatever you're, like, the... the Movement and the <laughs> the pressure is supposed to be transferred over to the person on the other end of the phone, and they and have a pair. Of, they have then, a pair they, of lips too. Yeah. Both have to have the pair of lips. Let's so, just go on a date. Well, because well, this was created by a guy who says he had a long distance relationship. I got you. Okay. So if you're not with the person on a regular basis, I mean, months might go by. You might not be able well, to get a kiss. And you could. This is maybe how you could get good at kissing. It's like it's class now. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta think that out again. I don't want to like practice on. Well, Somebody, I, I want to see that. Hey, would you rate my kissing that. here? That's I, weird. So, yeah, you're right. right. So it says after ring, you get your your app back. downloaded on both phones, after you've done that, in the app you you start a video call and you transmit <laughs> replicas of your smooches to each other. You kind of like noom, 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 and you kiss this thing. Oh my gosh! So weird. Yes. Anyway, Zoom meetings more fun. <laughs> <laughs> the creator says I was in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend. We only had contact through a phone. 
And that's why the inspiration, uh, that's where the inspiration for the device originated. So if, I don't know, maybe. I just think it's weird. It just, it's because it looks creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy looking. If you want to see the photo, by the way, it's on our Facebook page. Okay. Go to WFMS. You'll see it. It's right there on Facebook. We'd love to hear if you would, maybe you're in a long distance relationship, if you would buy this. Right, right. Make you feel a little closer. I uh, guess. Maybe, maybe not. I, I just think I'd feel so stupid, so foolish doing it. You wouldn't want to do it in public then, I would assume. Uh, no. I think that would no. create a right. problem. That, that, okay. No, uh-uh. Yeah. 955 WFMS, Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Kevin's got your Nash News now, and Reba has some free advice. Yeah, I'll get to that in about 30 seconds. Kelsey Ballerini and Kane Brown are returning as co-hosts of this year's CMT Music Awards. The show airs live on CBS. Shouldn't it be air on CMT? Anyway, on oh, CBS yeah. on April 2nd. <laughs> Thomas Rhett fell in love with margarita pizza while visiting Italy. Oh, yeah. Uh, he good. says, so it puts our pizza to shame. Mm. He said, I would eat it every single day if I could. But getting it from Italy to here is a bit of a challenge every day. You know, I don't think a door well, That's true. Yeah, it's, it's really just like sauce and cheese, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's he's not in anything love with it. fancy. Says he put, but their version of it puts oh, our sure version theirs is to shame. Way better. Reba McIntyre will be joining this season, this season of the Joyce, uh, Joyce of the Voice, uh, as mentor, <laughs> mega mentor is what they're calling her. Oh wow! Uh, she'll give advice to singers who uh, make it through the battle rounds as they prepare for the knockouts. Hmm. The show premieres March sixth on NBC. That's coming up. That's National News Now. Ninety five five WFMS. We appreciate you joining us here. It's Monday morning with Jim, Deb, and Kevin. So let us know. What this, this new project is. Deb, new endeavor. Yes. Uh, I saw it advertised, I think maybe on social media or something, and it says your first class is free. And I'm like, I'll try anything once. First maybe I would free. love it, right? Yeah. So um, I decided I would go to a cycling class. Cycling. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I thought it would be really fun because in the videos, what you see is they, they turn the lights out. And they have like just uh, like some neon lights and they play really loud music. And I thought it would be all would be pretty fun, right? Right. Um, of course, I didn't get a lot of uh, encouragement as I was leaving. Greg said, uh, when's the last time you were on a bike? Right. And I said, well, it's not, I'm not riding it out on the stationary roads. Bike. It's a stationary right. bike, yeah, and it's right. been a while, but, you know, I can handle this, you know. And he's like, oh, gosh, you better, st-. he said this, you better stretch before you go. So right. I'm like, thank well, you. For the, thank you for he the faith. He's a coach. He's a coach. So then I get there, and, um, you know, they show you, I didn't realize you have to wear their shoes. You have to wear their oh, shoes, shoe. and they, like, buckle into the pedals. Yeah. I think oh. it's probably for safety reasons, okay. which, you know, I need. And so she shows me kind of how, how to do it, and you open up your locker, and it says, you you know, the first step, is you're already there because, you know, you showed up. And they, like, wrote this little thing on the marker oh, board. So I'm cute. feeling good about it. I go to, I said I need to use the restroom, so I go to the restroom, and I thought, because I don't have to stop in the middle of class. So I go to the restroom, and as I go to stand up from, you know, nature's business, uh, I hit my head on the paper towels, the okay. paper towel holder uh, on the side injury. of the wall, and right. it killed me. I mean, I hit my forehead really bad. And I remember thinking, I haven't got to class yet. No. I'm not even in the room. You don't room. have your helmet on yet. Yes. Ah. So wear a helmet. Oh, yeah. you, well, maybe, maybe you, you should. should. <laughs> <laughs> so that was number one. So then I get in there and oh my gosh, I mean, this thing it, it was, it was a killer. You know, the girl is, she's great and the, and the workout was fine, but the problem was I don't th- I don't know if she, they realize this the music's loud to begin with, which is fine because that puts you in the good mood. Right. When, when you're doing it to music, you don't really feel like you're working out. But then she had this headset on and the whole time she's trying to talk and motivate you and get you through it. But it was so loud. I think it was uh, up too loud. It was distorted. And it sounded like Charlie Brown. And so I couldn't hear. It was like, oh, we're going to do it. Fine. <laughs> and then she, it combined with she's cycling too. So it was like, <laughs> <laughs> lots of heavy breathing. I couldn't make it out. Maybe what? it was the result of your head injury that you didn't understand <laughs> Maybe, her. That's a good point, Kevin. So, okay, <laughs> listen, I try to think once. sounds like Charlie Brown. I mean, no, I, I, I would like to think that the whole class couldn't understand it. It was right. really bad. It was like, take it down. <gasps> and I just couldn't understand it. It was distorted. So finally, I mean, it said 45 minutes. And at 45, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, this is, re- this is, this is bad. So uh, it was, it's not for everybody. And I wanted to leave. And I thought, but well, you were strapped into the bike. But I'll just sneak out. Well, they had told us how to get out of a shoes. If you needed to, you move your heels oh, outward okay. or something. Uh-huh. I tried outward for about three minutes. You were stuck on the bike. I wasn't even pedaling. Everybody else was pedaling, going at it. They're not even doing cool down yet. And I thought, I got to get out of here. I just can't take it anymore. It's loud. I can't understand her. 
So you had I to take the bike. I took my shoes. I took my feet out and I left my shoes. You left the shoes right to there. The really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I bolted. Yeah. Uh, wow. And I remember hey. thinking, it's probably not for me. You it's gave, just not for me. You gave it a try. You're more of the basket with Bell on the bike type person. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> ding, 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 Imagine ding, looking around and going, she stepped right out of her boots. <laughs> wow, <laughs> where is she? She pedaled so hard. She, She's, <laughs> she must be way ahead of the whole class. So, anyways, yeah, I took a photo when I got out because I thought, thought, I think I've lost it. I have a head injury. I had a dent on my forehead. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. understand anything. I'm not going back. <laughs> Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin, 822 on this uh, Monday morning. Time for Deb's Daily Dirt. Carrie Underwood loves wearing squeaky pants. <laughs> squeaky plant- pants is a great way to describe it. We'll get to that story here in about 30 seconds. First, Lady Gaga is being sued by the dog thief accomplice who ended up returning her two dogs. Okay. They're the ones that did the crime. Well, you can't get... A because she never stealing. received, the, the lady says she never received the $500,000 no questions asked reward. You're the criminal, ding dong. <laughs> you don't get the money back. Oh. I, I just don't understand people. Yep. King Charles is having a hard time getting decent artists to perform at his coronation. Apparently, he's been turned down by Elton John, the Spice Girls, Harry Styles, Ed Sheeran, and Adele, all due to what they are calling scheduling conflicts. And, I, you know, maybe that doesn't work out. Maybe they're on tour or something. Jim, are you available? Well, I think Denny Etz might be. Okay. Uh, all right. Wow. I'll, I'll yeah. send a telegram. We, we, we lowered our standards. <laughs> yeah. So Carrie Underwood bought these cool-looking pants. They look like they'd be from the future. Um, she shared a video of herself wearing these shiny black leggings, but I think she might have to send them back. So I bought these super cute, like patent leather, they're not leather, but looking uh, leggings to wear. Just saw them, thought they'd be cute for something. Uh, there's just one problem when you walk. <laughs> here, here comes Gary. It doesn't really. Sound great. <laughs> That's her jumping up and down. They're, yeah. they're latex. They, they yeah. look like latex. Oh, yeah. uh, she calls them noisy britches, uh, but she noisy says they, they crinkle and squeak like she said it sounded like twisting balloons for a kid's party. That's exactly what it, it is. And it's annoying. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep those. They can't hey. send those back. She could start a new trend. You know, if Carrie Underwood wears them, endorses them, they'd sell. Oh, my gosh. I would think her husband would go, change. I mean, that would drive me nuts. Imagine a room full of people with those kind of, oh my gosh. What's it called? noisy britches. Noisy britches. Uh. It's like nails on the chalkboard. It's one of those noises that you don't really want to well, hear. I don't want to go to that club. Yeah. 825. Uh. That's Deb's Daily Dirt. It's brought to you by Mark Deedle Realty.